Example one, uh, two movies were playing at the same time. The age of patrons in each movie are recorded below. So here we see we've got movie A with the age of its patrons or age of people watching the movie and movie B. Now question A says represent this data using a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. So if I was doing movie A, I'd start off with the first few numbers 5, 8 and 8 and I would write it from left, sorry, from right to left like so and for movie B, I would write it from left to right. Um, so movie B has a 10 as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and fill this all in and then we'll talk about this. Alright, so both both of them have been filled in and in question B it wants us to comment on the smoothness, the skewness and the modality of your stem and leaf plot. We'll start with the word smoothness. Are they smooth? Now if I draw a curve that follows the pattern of the numbers, it looks pretty smooth to me and that would apply to both movies. They look like a smooth curve. So we would say um, both distributions are smooth. Okay, they also want us to talk about skewness, but I'll talk about that last and modality. Now, we've got to really think about this word modality because when you look at the data, and I'm going to rub out these bits here, there's there's quite a f the mode which is the most common number. There's actually quite a few of them. Uh, I'll point them out. We've got two eights, um, two nineteens, two twenty ones. Um, I think there's definitely yep two forty fives. I think that's all of them. Yep. So when you look at movie B, you would you might argue that that's bimodal because it has two modes, and Movie uh, movie A has several modes, so you might say it's multi. But when you read the question, it's asking you to state the modality of your plot, okay, not the modality of the data. And when you look at the plot, there's only one peak on each. So we're just going to say it's unimodal. So we'll say the plot, or the stem and leaf plot, is unimodal. It only has one peak. Okay. Um, next, skewness, and I'm, I'm really running out of room, but I'll try my best. Um, movie A is movie A is positively skewed. So we'll write that movie A is positively skewed. And that's because most of the data is grouped up here at the, the top section, while movie B would be negatively skewed, since it's most of the data is grouped down the bottom. Skewed. All right, last question. Now, question C says, what does the skewness tell you about the genre of each movie. Well, when you think about it, movie A, which is positively skewed, has younger patrons. Because when it's positive, you get more of the numbers that are lower. So this is probably, I don't know, it could be like a cartoon or a kid's movie. So um, we'll write it up here, actually, question C. Movie A is probably a kids movie okay and movie B has more of the data grouped for the older age group hence being negatively skewed so we'll say movie B is probably an adult movie some nine-year-old kid and, and a ten-year-old kid somehow snuck in. It's probably an adult movie. 